everyone, Miss Katrina here. And Miss Sam. Welcome to Summer Streaming Series, a show where we watch the first episode of an old teen TV series and talk about it. We will discuss the first episode, make predictions if we've never seen it, and tell you why you should or shouldn't watch it. Everything we watch you can find online, so get ready to start your next binge watch. I'm Miss Katrina here. And Miss Sam. Today we're here to talk to you about the show Smallville. It ran from 2001 to 2011. So let's start at the beginning of the show. Um, a meteor shower hits Earth in 1989 in the town of Smallville, Kansas. Um, so that's a big homecoming, right? Football game. Parade. Which we learned from Bro. Friday Night Lights. It's a big deal. It's a big deal in towns like Kansas. So um, good thing we watched this after Friday Night Lights because now we have like a yeah. frame of reference. Um, they're in Kansas, so there's lots of corn. There is a lot of corn and there's a lot of corn fields. Fields, yeah. Which is where um, the whole thing kind of takes place. So Lex Luthor is with his dad. He runs into a cornfield and then the asteroid hits. But he finds in the field a guy hanging from a scare like a scare yes. with a yep. tass on his chest with no clothes on but his underwear yeah which honestly i was real confused i was super confused as to why he, I, you find out later why he yes. was there yeah but at first i was like what is going on yep. i felt like maybe it was like a superman cult or something i'm yeah. not gonna lie that's right where i went first um, okay, so then um, right after that happens, the asteroid hits, Lex Luthor wakes up, and he's in the cornfield, but he is now bald, which is like our classic Lex Luthor oh, character. Yeah. Um, also at the same time, um, we have a meteor hitting little Princess Lana's parents, and they just spectacularly die in front of us. That, yeah, poor girl. Traumatized. I, I was traumatized, traumatized. Like, watching the show. Imagine being that child super traumatized. Um, another thing that happens is that the Kents are driving their truck, they get hit by an asteroid, and, well, I guess they don't, because they would be very dead, but uh, they, they start to hit, their truck gets knocked over, and then they wake up, and they see a small child walking towards them. And they decide to keep him. Which you do, I mean, yeah. What else would you do when you find a boy in the... Well, it kind of set up that they want a kid, they can't have one. Yeah. So I guess they kind of, like, adopt him. But I always remember Superman, them finding him when he was a baby. Yeah, that's how I remember Superman. Yeah, so he the kids were all a little older when they were found, when yeah. he was found, and then the other kids yeah. when we start. They're not babies. Yeah. So that kind of is a little different than, like, the Superman I kind of remember. Yeah. Um... Then when, we, oh, wait, one of my favorite lines was when they fall, like, after the baby shows up, she's like, we should keep them. And he's like, kids don't just fall out of the sky. And, like, obviously he just did. Literally, he just fell out of the sky. So I thought that was really funny. Um, uh, where are we? We flash forward to him in high school. Yes. And then we flash forward all the way to high school. And he is, looks just like a normal kid. Um... He, but the one thing I have to say, are they supposed to be freshmen because he don't look like a freshman? No, he looks like he's like 25. He was probably he was 25 Lex. when he was. Yeah, I yeah, think definitely. Lex is supposed to be an adult, like older. Yeah, he, I think. I think he's supposed to be like graduated from college. Yeah, like, as a little kid, he was definitely older, older than the yeah. other ones. So I guess Lex is older. But yeah, he does not look. I think he's supposed to be like 15, honestly. Yeah, I think he's supposed to be a freshman in high school and he looks like he's. 20 something well he is superman i, I mean, know but superman i'm sure never looked like like a scrawny little kid like he I must know, have always been but superman. doesn't look like a grown man i guess i mean I he's know. not supposed to be like spider-man though you know yeah, spider-man was always yeah. like kind of nerdy superman was supposed to always be like cool yeah um so yeah so he, uh clark wants to join the football team and his parents are kind of alluding to the fact that he can it's not safe um but they never really say why yeah but we know, because we know who Superman is. He, we know we found him in the cornfield after an asteroid. And he has special powers, like, we get it. Um, but I guess if you've never seen Superman before, or have no knowledge of who he was, you would be, like, kind of shocked, I guess. Yeah. Um, so then we find out he does have powers when he um, is on a bridge, and Lex Luthor's car runs over a giant pile of, like, barbed wire. Yeah, and then... Hits him. And then careens off the bridge into the ocean. Or the river, I in guess. The river. And then he jumps in the river and rips the roof off the car. Which, like, he could have 
just broken a window. Um, like, that's, that's way that's less suspicious. Just, well, you're just going to rip the window off, rip also, off that car. Also, like, the, uh, the events that must have lined up for first the bar bar to be in the road, then to hit him. Then Lex Luthor to run over it like he doesn't see the barbed wire and then hit Clark Kent and then fly off the bridge and then land in the river. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a little bit unbelievable in this world where um, a child can fly. Yeah. But you know, whatever. <laughs> um, we also see that he uh, goes to school so we can see that he's super fast, right? He yeah. misses the bus. We also meet his friends. Um, the first one is Chloe. She's kind of a reporter. Yeah, she's suspicious about all the mm -hmm. weird things that have happened since the meteor shower. She has, like, a really creepy room where she has, like, all yeah. these, like, headlines of all the weird stuff that happened, which, like, honestly probably might have been me in high school <laughs> if I was in that town. Mm -hmm. I would have been Probably. all about it. And then his other friend, Pete, who also wants to join the football team, and you see him kind of try And that's out. where we find out why the guy was in the field with the S on his chest. Yes. Because they, t they pick a freshman to put in a cornfield as a scarecrow, I guess, for a tradition of football. I guess. I guess it's like hazing, which is like very but illegal they don't have now. To, but they don't have to be on the football team. No, it's it just, just like, has to be a freshman. Yeah, just like the one they want to pick on the most, I guess. They just choose yeah. to yeah. make a scarecrow. We also um, meet Lana. We do meet Lana. So he has a creepy crush on and stalks with the, with the <laughs> telescope <laughs> into her house. I was like, at first I saw him with the telescope and I was like, oh, how nice. He's like, he likes the stars because he knows he like belongs but no, there. But no, being a creeper. Nope, he's creeping on Lana with her boyfriend, which is even creepier. Yeah. Super, super weird. And the boyfriend that no obviously realizes that he likes her. her. Um, the boyfriend is terrible. Yes. So I can't wait for them to break up. The one we question know I have is like, I know the Superman and like the whole, it's, isn't it Lois Lane? So is this like mm -hmm. her cousin? Because her name's Lana Lane, isn't it? Maybe. I'm not sure. Are they related to each other? Because it doesn't maybe. Superman end up with Lois Lane? Yeah, he does end up with Lois Lane. Um, that's kind of his, like, his girlfriend, Friend, I guess. Yeah. But, um, you know, he, he's got to have a girlfriend before Lois Lane, Lane. So maybe this is, like, the... Maybe they're related. Because I think her name's Lana Lane. Maybe they're maybe related. Maybe they're related. Or maybe, like, they just happen to have the same last name. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe he just likes to, like, keep it the same. <laughs> <laughs> like, I only like girls with the last name, name Lane. Lane. <laughs> and then that guy wakes up who was in the cornfield. The original scarecrow, scarecrow. The one that the asteroid hit. And you see him find a football pitcher and break the glass. He's very angry. Which I was confused at first. I didn't, I didn't like connect that he was the same guy. I so know. I was like, why is this random person breaking a, a glass just to steal a picture of a football player? Yeah. I was like, what? I was very confused with the whole scarecrow thing. <laughs> it really threw me off. Threw you off. It was amazing. Um, yeah, so then he's tracking down all the football players. He finds one and we find out he's got electricity fingers. And he's just killing people oh. with electricity. Yep. Um, and then Clark wants to go to homecoming? Yes, he decides he wants to go to homecoming. He asks Lana, and she's like, no, I have a boyfriend, which, like, he should have known because he's watched them with his telescope. So, like, it's, it's not like it's, he's surprised. And then the boyfriend, terrible boyfriend, um, decides to pick Clark as the scarecrow and mm -hmm. puts Lana's necklace around him, which... We find out is kryptonite. Yes, which so that we have to assume is kryptonite. We don't find out right away, right, but we, we we'll know it comes from the meteor. And we're going to assume it's kryptonite we're because assuming. it uh, hurts him. Right? Yeah, he gets sick, and then he gets really weak, weak. and he can't fight back, and he kind of, like, becomes a... That's originally why he was, like, very nerdy around her. So at yeah. first, like, like he's very cool, Clark Kent, but then whenever he's around Lana, he, like, trips and falls oh. and drops his books. Oh, and then we yeah. realize it's because she wears the necklace that's the kryptonite. Which in also is really weird because it's the meteorite that killed her parents. Yeah, why would you wear that? I don't know. Oh. But she said it was from the meteorite that killed her Maybe parents. like, maybe it's like how she remembers. I don't know. People are weird, man. Okay. Maybe she just liked the color. I mean, <laughs> I would pick a different meteor than the one you killed parents. Whatever. <laughs> okay. So Clark is a scarecrow. Yeah, so Clark becomes a scarecrow. And Lex is by the um, field. The field, and he hears someone say "Help me," which is very reminiscent of the first Just, time he heard someone say "Help me" when in. Th and you find out that the electricity finger dude is on his way to homecoming to kill everyone. To kill everyone. So Lex frees Clark. He yep. helps him out, and Clark goes to the school to stop electricity fingers, whose name is actually Jeremy, <laughs> but I named him Jeremy Sorry. Electricity Fingers. Um, he stops. Goes to stop him, and they sort of fight. He hits him with the car, 
and pins him against the wall, which was real rough. I was like, whoa. Um, but we saw earlier when Clark was fighting with his dad that he put his whole hand in a hand chipper, in a wood chipper, and nothing yeah. happened. Yep. So, you know, he's kind of fine. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. And then something happens and the Electricity Fingers wakes up and has no memory of what Yeah, so did. Electricity Fingers tries to kill Clark, Clark, but the fire extinguisher exploded, so electricity and water. Yeah. He electrocutes himself. And then he wakes up and he's like, I don't know where I am. Which I didn't know that electrocuting yourself gives you amnesia. But apparently it gets rid of so all he, your vendettas. And he no longer remembers <laughs> killing three football nope. players. Nope. You no longer have a desire to murder people. You no longer care that you were scarecrowed. You're just like, I want to go home. Which, yep. I mean, I guess is the best option for electricity fingers. Because, like, it wasn't really his fault. Like, he was just in the wrong place in the wrong time. Yeah, and obviously something, the meteorite did something to him. Yes, clearly the meteorite made him evil because he didn't seem evil yeah um so that's kind of like the end the only other thing i want to touch on was that clark's dad does finally show him that he came from a spaceship yeah. Yeah. he came from probably outer space he might be an alien um he gives him a key card and we don't really know much about it but he said it's not in any language anyone knows yeah. again prob an alien um and that's kind of where we leave off oh no no oh i'm sorry at the end he dreams that he dances with lana and it never happened which is yeah it was really creepy and so then creepy. you like look he looks in his creepy telescope and oh yeah she's just getting dropped off by her friends from the homecoming everyone else is having fun except him i guess which you know he's superman like he's gonna have to miss out on some stuff but creepily imagining lana was a little weird it's a little weird yeah All okay right. So, let's tell you, um, I guess we've never seen it, right? Yeah, I've never seen so it. So, let's make some predictions. Yeah. This is the first one we haven't seen in a while. I so. know. Okay, you can go first. Sam. Um, so, I predict that Clark is still going to be creepy and spy on Lana, but I feel like they're going to fall in love. Okay. I feel like he's the terrible boyfriend's going to do something and they're going to break up. Okay. And then he's going to win over Lana. I feel like that Chloe, that's the reporter, right? Mm -hmm. She's going to figure out that something's up with Clark, with mm -hmm. her wall, creepy wall. Mm -hmm. They have a, something in common. Um, and she's gonna figure out that Clark is an alien or there's something with him. Okay. And that's gonna become his like sidekick. Okay. And I, I, I mean, him and I feel like him and Lex are gonna be friends this season and then something's gonna happen and then they're no longer gonna be friends because that's a classic Superman story. So sure. it has to, it has to end up that way that they're gonna be, be enemies. enemies. Yep. Those are my predictions. Okay, um, I kind of agree with a lot of that. I feel like um, I agree with the Lana thing, like the boyfriend's going to be terrible and she's going to break up with him. But I think her and Clark are going to do that thing where they always miss each other. Oh, like, yeah. Like they're never going to get together. Like she's going to like him and then he's going to have a girlfriend and then she's they're going to break up and then he's going to like her and then she's going to have another boyfriend. Like it's going to be that whole back or and like, forth thing. like they're going to get together and then one of them is going to get Amisha and not remember. <laughs> no, I mean, That's it's, not, it's not a soap opera. Um, We're I not mean, watching a telenovela. I mean, it could happen. This isn't Pretty Little Liars. It could happen. I mean, he has a creepy telescope. Who knows? Yeah, or maybe she realizes he's a creep and she just never talks to him again, and then he becomes a stalker. That would be like a really great Superman storyline, which I'm sure this show is not going anywhere no, that's near. Not where we're going. But anyway, um, I agree also with Lex and Clark being friends, and they're kind of gonna like get along, and then eventually something's gonna happen, and they're gonna become enemies because we know they're enemies. Um, I feel like the f other friend Pete that like no one really knows about. I feel like he's just gonna disappear. Like yeah. we're just gonna really forget he ever existed, and he's just gonna be. Maybe best he'll be around everyone. for a little bit, and then. He's He's just gonna go away. like the comic relief yeah and then yeah. he's just gonna be gone or he'll like move away or something yeah like, or we'll get a new possible. friend or a new another friend we'll get a new friend <laughs> a different guy okay. okay okay so let's tell you if you should or should not watch smallville miss sam you can go first okay i'm super on the fence with it i was not a huge fan of the first episode i think i need to watch more episodes to get a better idea but like just based on the first episode i wasn't really drawn to it. I, can't, I could take it or leave it to find out what actually happens to these people. In okay. my personal opinion. I would probably have to watch more to get into it. Maybe it gets better as the season goes on. Um, I'm gonna go with a hard no. <laughs> um, I feel like we know what happens to Superman. He moves to Metropolis and like 
become Superman. Yeah. So I don't really understand why we need a whole preface, like a whole be like prequel I mean, for Superman. Like I guess it's kind of cool to see him as a teenager, like what he was like before he was Superman. But like I don't know, he's I'm assuming he's just gonna save people and become yeah. Superman. Like I mean, it was on for a long time, so like yeah. ten years maybe he does end up moving to Metropolis at some point in the show. And, and then he's like an adult, yeah. or is he always gonna be a high schooler? Like, there's is it like Saved by the Bell where they go to college, or is it just like he's just forever in high school? I feel like he ages. He has to. I mean, he's 25 now. How much older is he going to look? He already looks like a grown adult. I mean, it's not like they're going to be like, oh, he was 10 at the beginning and now he's 25. Oh, no, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Smallville. I don't think it's yeah. worth it. Save your, save your shows for something else. It's a lot of episodes. It is. It's a 10-year commitment when you think about it. <laughs> But, like, also, like, it was on for 10 years, so someone had to have Yeah, people it. must have been so, watching it. I mean, people must have... I mean, there's a lot of superhero people out. And you also have to remember, 2001, what kind of superhero stuff is really out there. Wow. Like, Marvel hadn't really it put out all the It was before Marvel stuff. was real. Yeah, so, like, like this was... Did, uh, Iron Man didn't come out for another, like, eight years. Yeah, so, like, this was kind of the only thing people got. So maybe they watched it out of necessity, they not really out of, out of, like... <laughs> okay, so, um... That's kind of it for Smallville. We're going with a hard no, but you guys are more than welcome to check it out. It's on Hulu. Give it a try if you want. Maybe. Maybe. Eh, who knows? Hi everyone, we're back. I want to let you know that next week we're going to be watching Supernatural. And I'm really excited because neither of us have watched it before. Yep. 